Hello, motherfuckers. My name's Kid Bookie, and you're watching Forever Loud Forever! I guess anytime you get booked for any festival, it's kind of like, ah, oh, maybe they're noticing something. And um, I guess I kind of sometimes have to struggle with that because it's like, I'm always boxed into little corners and boxes, so I don't think people, you know, I think people expect me to rock up with a fucking DJ going, hip hop, hip hip hop, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not rather than I'm gonna rock it out with a fucking full on savage motherfucking shit. So that's what it means to me. It means that I get to prove myself one more time for a whole bunch of people. I think it's massively positive because rock's being reshaped to not just a name, but a more diverse sound. You know, when you think of rock, when like when the average consumer who doesn't listen to rock thinks of rock, they put on a certain sound and do a voice to associate with rock. So that's what their brain just associates with rock. Where, you know, we're, we're doing rock and rock's a whole hybrid of everything, you know, it's attitude, it's the music, it's nuance, it's, it's special, it's what you make it and it's what you learn from. And you have to take from your predecessors and add it into yourself. And if you study it properly, you become like, you know, you, be, you're, you, you, get, you, know, you become authentic in your shit. It's not corny. So I think it's in a great place because we're redefining what rock means with a new sound and with new agenda. And I don't think people are embracing change because change is scary and scary people don't make a lot of changes. It's like full circle shit, like most of the time, because I, I remember in 2005 or four, going to watch the Young and the Hopeless tour in Brixton Academy by Good Charlotte. And like Billy was like my favorite dude in the world. Joe and Benji were like these guys. And now like, you know, 20 years later, I fucking, you know, I, work, I, work, I make music with them. And my Billy's my fucking, my brother. You know, and same with every, same with all the rock artists that I listened to when I was young, that are like my friends today. And like my family, I guess it's like, it's like, oh, okay mate, I, I belong here. You know, this isn't just a fluke. I, I must belong fucking here, you know? Yeah, they start doing, you know, you get nominated for loads of awards every fucking year. And at first, you're like, oh my God, like I've never had any awards, you know, like Mobos and this one and that one. And not that the novel we ever, it's just, you're just kind of like, most of the time, it's because I don't feel like I deserve it. Not because I get them, but it's kind of like, I look at my position, I look at what other people are doing, and I'm like, what boxes have I ticked to be here? Or maybe do I just lack self-esteem? So, I don't know. Um, I want to win them. But when I'm up a lot, I'm always in them. I'm like, oh fuck, I ain't winning this shit. This is fucking packed out with some dude that's like fucking too big for me. But you have hope and you can have prowess because you're like, fuck yeah, I might be able to do something. So ultimately, yeah, they mean a lot. I just don't know how to always reflect upon them because I don't always think I deserve them. You're gonna get a eclectic mix of rock music from heavy to punk to hybrid to just acoustic ballads. It's like, it's a journey, man. It's a journey through time. It's a journey from the end to the to the to death. And that's why, you know, I called it what it is, because I think, you know, it's not like it's a concept album, but it, in a way it kind of is, because it's like, you know, put your, you know, put track one on, go through your journey of time, and when your time is up, your end is the end. And I think this, you know, symbolizes growth. So I've had my growth in this session and I'm like ready to move on into like my little new world. So yeah, man, shout out Jules Perks, shout out Mikey Demon, shout out Billy from Good Charlotte, shout out everybody that's able to bring my vision to life to allow me to thrive in a space where maybe, you know, it's fucking white noise everywhere and you get to cut above it because you get good fucking mixes. Yes! The range of uh, vocal capability maybe because I think so many people are so, you know, so many people know me for the theatrical rapping side of rock music where they, they kind of paper over the fact that, you know, I love writing choruses. I love singing my ass off. I love, you know, I love just being a musician that I don't always get to be able to embrace the moniker of because sometimes anything I do, I could do a whole song singing and the blogs will just write Kid Bookie's new rap metal banger. So I'm like, hmm, I still have a lot of work to do to make people give a fuck about the, you know, the way I embrace rock music. So, and I'm cool with it. I, you know, I get angry and I want to fucking lash out and I kind of do, I'm a very outspoken piece of shit, but it's always for the good cause. There's no malice. It's just to shake up the bullshit and, you know, leave a little stamp on the desire guys. Cause I don't know how long I got. So let me shake some shit up. From the 1st of September to the 10th, I will be traveling the UK to multiple people's houses that I purchased 
pre-ordered my album and I've got my list, so can't wait to rock out in your front room. All I require is a blunt and some hot chocolate, so fuck it, let's rock it out. <laughs>